Hey guys and welcome back to another video in the Minecraft Hardcore Survival World and in today's video what I want to do is I want to make ourselves an end room because off camera I went back to the end just before like recording this video and we gathered up all this stuff for us to be able to make an end room in the storage room and I think we're going to need some dark concrete because what I have in mind is building like the dark night time like the void look and then having the floor be made out of end stone, maybe a bit of pepper, I don't know. We'll have some of these chorus fruits growing. That's the plan, that's what I want to do right now. All the end stuff's just in this chest. So I want to have that just loitering around the area. I think that'd be a really cool aesthetic. But I am going to need some dark concrete. And also, another thing I want to do is I want to go back to the end. I know we're spending a hell of a lot of time in the end at the minute. But what I have planned is I want to make another XP farm. Because right now we have the skeleton farm. But it ain't very good. And I think, you know, end XP farm. I want to make an Enderman farm. They take quite a while to make. But I reckon in this episode, we could get it done. I'm going to gather up all the resources for it. And be able to get that finished. Also, I want to thank you all for all the support on the last video. It's on around 90 views. I think at the time of recording this, it might be higher. Now I don't know. But thank you. It means a lot. I think that video has done really well. It's a shame the audio messed up on it. Because that is a bit annoying. But... It is what it is, and we got to move on. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into the storage room. I'm going to find an area for us to mine out to show you the size that I want to make our end room to be. So this is where we are going to be building the room, just off the back of our ores room. So let's get into a super fast time lapse of us mining this area out. So we are back with another time lapse chat for this mining montage of us breaking down this entire room hopefully the room looks quite good and i hope you all like it by the end of it i definitely like the look of it at the end i am recording this after i've already built it obviously and it looks really nice i did i did like the aesthetic of it but what i wanted to talk to you about in this one was two videos ago i think now it wasn't in the last video because i'd pre-recorded that one so i did have my results when that one came out but i haven't had a chance to talk to you all about them because we said about how i was worried about them and i wanted to know how you lot were feeling and you know what i think i've done pretty well I smashed it with my results, I got exactly what I wanted, I got, um, it was pretty much all grade 9s, which is the top grade, I got two grade 8s, and the rest of them are all grade 9s, like distinctions, distinction level 2s, which is really good, and I hope you lot all got what you wanted as well. We had no need to worry, I don't think, about the, the grades being lower, because they're exactly the same as they was like two years ago, three years ago, it was just people trying to like, make everyone scared about it, I guess. Nothing really needed to be worried about, and it ended up pretty good. So, definitely happy with that, and I hope you lot are all happy, because I haven't had a chance to talk to any of you on about it, and had a chance to tell you how I was feeling, and now we've got to try getting to colleges, or wherever you want to go. If you want to go to a college, an apprenticeship, if you're staying at a sixth form or something like that, I hope you manage to get in, go to your interviews. Hope everyone does well, and I'll see you all. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'll see you. We'll see you at the end of this time lapse, I guess. So that is this room fully mined out. I wanted to go taller, but sadly we couldn't go as tall as we want because, do you know the nether tunnel? The nether tunnel's coming down from the top, and it's just over, like, I don't know if we saw it in the time lapse, but I mined into the nether tunnel, it goes, like, up here and up there. So sadly I won't be able to go any taller than this without busting through that and ruining it. Now, the, the, the ideas for this room, the whole bottom is, like, end stone goes up the wall a little bit and the whole roof is just um, black concrete but what that means is I'm going to need a lot of black concrete and we don't actually have any sand so what I'm going to do is head all the way back and we need to find a desert and I think I have the best thing now to help us find said desert but we're going to need some rockets so I'm going to get some shulker boxes I'm going to get some rockets and we're going to go look for a desert to get some sand we have plenty of gravel over there and whilst we're at it we might also need to look for some squid because we need a lot of ink sacks as well for the black concrete. So we'll get them rockets made and we'll fly our way over to a desert. It's done it again and the well crashed when I was trying to go to sleep in that base over there. I tried sleeping in this one. I reloaded the well. I didn't have to delete it, reinstall Minecraft or anything like that. But I don't know why it keeps crashing. If any of you lot know... Be sure to comment it down below, tell me why the world's crashing and if you know how to fix it. Because like, it is annoying and I'm worried that if it keeps on doing it, it's going to get worse and worse and then I'll have to delete the world. Which I don't want to do, but I just don't understand why it keeps crashing. 
and then it does crash and it just says error code 1. Very confusing. Also, when I logged back into the world, I was there and I got blown up by a creeper. Everything escaped, so I've had to kill a bunch of cows that all escaped. I managed to get all the, all the sheep back. Not all of them. That guy, for some reason, doesn't like wheat. And I got a lot of meat from it, at least. So I was on, I was down to 13 steak. Got well over a stack now. It's, I've got some just smelting away in here. But I haven't even been able to go look for a desert yet. Because I've been sat um, trying to deal with this crashing. I'll see if it crashes again when I go to sleep tonight. Hopefully it doesn't. And I'll come back in a desert. So I've found the desert. And I didn't actually have to travel that far to do so. But sadly, I didn't bring a shulker box. Because I'm dumb. So we're just going to have to mine up all the sand that we can fit in our inventory. We won't be able to get as much as we wanted to. But it should be enough for the um, for the concrete that we need to do this base. So let's go just mine up all the sand and we'll cut back once our inventory is full. And this is the amount of sand we was able to fit in our inventory. It's not quite a full shulker box like we wanted to get. But it's definitely enough for what we want to do in today's episode. Because we're not actually going to need that much sand for the concrete we're probably only gonna need like maybe three stacks maybe even less than that don't know how much it's gonna take to cover the room but i can't imagine it's that much so this is plenty more than we need and we'll be able to use this for future things anyway next thing we need to do is go over to the ocean and get a bunch of um what are they called ink sacks get a bunch of ink sacks i tried doing it on camera but sadly the voice didn't record I've just put mending on our elytra and we can't quite get Unbreaking 3 on it yet because I don't have an Unbreaking 3 villager but we managed to go to the mending villager, get ourselves another mending book and add it onto the wings so that we can repair them and don't fall from a height and die because that definitely would not be fun. Imagine losing your world because your elytra ran out of durability. That'd be terrible. So we're going to go over here, we're going to sit at the spawner for a bit and repair these wings and then head off to the ocean to get some ink sacks. So we're back after that extremely fun time in the water and we managed to get from that all this stuff. We've got three drowned heads, two squid's heads, over a stack of ink sacks, which we can turn into the black dye and hope that that'll be enough for the room. I'm sure eight stacks of clay should be enough. Not clay, concrete should be enough to do all the, all the roof that we're planning on doing. Got loads of rotten shells. We also managed to get a trident, which I kind of want to enchant. Because I think a trident would be quite a cool thing to have. So we're going to head back to the base and get all of that done. So I made all the black concrete powder. And then I found this dude outside. And I just want to see what he had on him. Because we have these mini blocks. And I want to know. Let me know down in the comments down below. Do you guys want to see me get all of these? I don't know how many there are. I haven't even started getting any of them yet. Verdent frog lights. But this stuff's really cool. I don't know whether I want them all. Just tell me if you want to see me use them. Because they can be quite useful in builds. You know, for decorating and stuff like that. And mini bees nest. They're quite cool. So let me know if you want to see that. He's not really got much else. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to steal his leads. Because leads are probably more useful than he is. Along with these guys. But now. I have the very painful and annoying job. Now. Of. I've got all of this black concrete powder. And I need to turn it all into black concrete. So I'm going to be building a massive tower up into the sky and seeing how long this takes. Okay guys, I am extremely, extremely confused right now. So obviously I'm building up this big long tower. And I got up to there and it, it got dark. So I came to fly down and as I'm flying down, my world crashes. And I'm getting terrified at this point. And I load the world back in. And then when I load back in, I fall to my death. And I landed like here and I died. Like, all my stuff went flying everywhere, and it made, like, the death sound. But I still had all my stuff in my inventory. So now certain things have duplicated. And I also got all the gravel and sand back that I used to make these. So they've duplicated. And my sword's duplicated, this is duplicated. But not everything has. So I'm really confused, like, why are these... And I got, like, a stack of gravel back, because I use... I, 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 uh, no, because I've only got three... Stacks of black concrete powder, and I had a lot more than three. So I'm, I'm, I'm really confused, but I'll try. I'll put in this shulker box everything that duplicated. And I want you lot to tell me down below, what do I do with this stuff? Because that definitely duplicated. So what do, I, what do I do with this? And these are just here. But I, I had these on me, so they aren't duplicated. 
But I had more than these, so I have lost some. So I don't know how that's... I'm so confused about what's happened there. Um, I mean, I'm happy. Because I thought I'd died and I thought I'd lost the world. But the world's lived. I've lived. Even though it crashed and killed me. I'm very confused. You'll have to tell me about that down below. And tell me what you think may have happened. And tell me what, what should I do with that stuff? Should I frame it? Or should I just burn it all? Like, what, what do I do with it all? I'm so confused. And this is how high up we are. Sadly, we did lose some concrete. I don't even know how the, like, the crash has really thrown me. Oh, well, what's happened there? We did. We haven't got all the concrete that we made. We've lost, like, I don't know, half of it. But we're going to send this all the way down here and mine up all these black concrete blocks. Okay, so despite the extremely weird turn of events, we are alive and we are ready to start working on this room. I'm just realising now that I did make a hell of a lot of concrete. I'm definitely not going to need that five stacks, so it doesn't even matter that we lost a few. But the first thing we're going to work on is with the end stone, and we're going to get the floor in place. So what I'm thinking is going down into the floor in the middle to make it a little bit deeper, and then having the floor come up, up to the edges. So let's make a start on that. And this is what the floor is looking like. I think I want to like go up little bits more, just around some of the edges here. Just give it a, a bit of height. I don't want it to be too flat, even like in these corner bits. So I'm just going to add some height. I think we can go all the way around here. Just with bits of height coming into this. There we go. That's quite good around there. And then around here, add some more height in just, just along the back. Yeah, actually, we can't do it in these areas because this is what goes into other rooms. Only just remember that the other rooms come in here and here. So we're going to have to go around them with what we want to do around these two holes in the walls. But we can continue to go a little bit thicker around here, get a little bit more height. And I think that's very nice. One thing I do want to do as well, I don't have them in here, but we do have somewhere the end rods. And I want to light this place up with end rods rather than with torches, because I think that'll match the aesthetic a little bit more. But now what we need to do is go around and put in all the black concrete. The walls are in and I love it. I love how dark it is. Like you can't see the concrete there. It looks like nothingness and that's the, the abyss of the end. There's just nothing. I do think we might need more concrete though. Because I've got two and a little bit stacks. And there's definitely more than that going to be needed to go into here. Or is that? I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll go with this Jess. And we'll try to finish off this roof and see how it looks afterwards. But I'm hoping this looks good because based on the walls, I think it's going to look amazing. So all of the concrete is in and that looks amazing. Like you can't see anything and I love the look of that. But what I want to do now is get rid of all these torches and replace them with the end rods. Because these will look much better. Also if you can hear my torches trying to escape in the background, I'm very sorry about that. It's been very loud at the minute. So I'll probably throw them in the garden. But I think that looks so much better now with the end rods lighting up rather than the torches. Uh, we'll put another one here. And now, what I'm going to need to do is plant, actually, I forgot I had these, we can plant a couple choruses. I don't know whether they're going to grow, because it's in here, but I thought I'll plant some down anyway, see if they do grow, because it'll be really cool if they do, if these manage to grow. I don't know if you can bone meal them, I don't know what you can do with them, but if they grow, quite a neat, neat little thing to see. And now, I've said I'm now quite a lot, haven't I? I'm going to get some chests. I'm going to make some shulker boxes, because we're going to use shulkers as the storage in this area. Sadly, all the chests are upstairs. Shush, yeah, again. It's been silly right now. It's been so silly. Noisy little guy. But we're going to use the shulker boxes as the storage, and yeah, that's growing already. I'm going to put one of the shulker boxes here, and this can be a chorus fruit storage. Everyone loves a bit of chorus fruit, don't they? I'm going to put Another shulk box. We'll just use this shulk box as it. We'll put this one here maybe. And we'll keep this one as the paper blocks. Get all this paper into here. We might put the magenta banners in there as well because we did get them from the end. Gonna need to take all this stuff out of it, move it around. It's very annoying to deal with. We'll have to go back up to the top as well to grab all the chests because there's still some stuff in our actual 
base, like the other base, that needs to be transferred into the storage system. So we'll go and grab that now. And we'll finally finish off. That's in the wrong chest. Finally finish off what we're trying to do. Boo, 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 boo. He's so annoying. I don't know if I've even shown you guys my thoughts. I'll put a picture of him. I think I've got a picture. I'll put a picture of him up now. He is quite a little cutie. But he's just really annoying. He's always trying to escape his little thing. He wants to come out. But he's got a little, we've got a little area in the garden. I'll see if I can get a picture of that as well. It's a nice little like run for him. He's got a bunch of flowers in there that he likes to eat. He's just... You don't deserve to be in there right now, Yeg. Don't deserve it. Yeah, let's grab... Put the water away. Grab all our wood, all the chests, everything out of here. Move them down into the storage system where they're actually meant to be. And we can make a bunch of shulkers to start end stone in, ender pearls. Can be stored in here. Shulker shells themselves can be stored in here. We could have a little elytra box. Bang. That would be pretty cool. Uh, dragon heads, they can go down here. The egg. I don't know whether I want to put the egg in this room. Probably not. Surely the egg needs to be on like a pedestal somewhere. I think that's the best place to put it. But I don't know. I'm thinking now and it'd be really cool to just have like a random egg just on the floor. So when you see them when they use the they, when they use eggs as um lamps. I don't know if you've seen it, they use the they use the dragon egg to make a lamp and they just put like a light on top of it. It's so dumb. Who's using a dragon egg as a lamp? What are you playing at? Anyway, over here, this can just be our end stone storage. Uh, did I, I had some more end stone over here, didn't I? Yeah, there's loads over here still. Grab all this out. Put the end stone over here. We can have this one be a little mob strop storage. Let's put the shulker shells in there. These need to go in here. Oh, and these fruits... They're actually, they've actually grown pretty decently. Didn't expect them to do that. It's quite nice. Get the end rods. They can go in here with all the pepper. Because they, they all come from the end cities. So I'm just putting them inside here. And I've got three more. Three, I don't even think... We don't need that much storage. I guess when it comes to it, if we do need more, I'll add more. But right now, I'm just going to leave it with these three. And this is the end room. It's not the biggest room. It's not the best room. But I think it's just really cool. I love the darkness. I love that like it looks like you're just on a floating bit of end. I do like that. And these are going to grow. That's shut off now, so I think it's reached like, the roof. It can't grow any further. Hopefully this one grows a little bit nicer because it is just like a weird like Tetris block right now. But yeah, I think that's it for this episode because we were going to do the Enderman thing in this episode, the Ender Farm, but all the dying has really confused me and I think we should leave that for the next episode because so, we don't know how well the dying also I need to get a title out of this one I, I can make the title I died in Minecraft I caught because technically I did technically I didn't I don't really know what's happened with it so we're going to end this video here I hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next episode bye